All right, gang, let's do a test fit. Let's see how, how big this fan is. Show you how big this fan is, man. So it was sitting on there like that. What y'all think, gang? I'm a big fan. Especially when you're working with Dowie, Dowie, <laughs> with the What's up, YouTube? We back with another video. It's your bar Greg with DIY with the Ritz. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate y'all being back with us, man, for another episode of DIY with the Ritz. Look, first thing first, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get all our videos, man, because a lot of people watching them, trying to subscribe. Let's subscribe, man. Help, help you, help brother out, man. Help me get YouTube. And let me make a little something for all this I'm spending. But anyway, man, we back to the C team, man. So what we're gonna do today, man? I told y'all we're gonna try to get those electric fans working, and um, I'm gonna show y'all step by step what to look for. All right, let's go. All right, gang. First thing first, man. I got my, I got my fan from this company here, American Boat. Let it zoom in. Anyway, American Volt, man. That's where I got my fan from. I got a 16 inch. And like I said, man, it came with 30 amp, 30 amp breaker, relay, wire harness, uh, like 10 gauge wire harness. Uh, wait, man, I'm gonna show you how this. So basically, man, real simple hooking up your arm. Hooking up your fans. Alright. So this right here, your cooler fan. That's your ground. That's ground right there. Going to chassis ground. You hook that up on the on the vehicle anywhere um with metal at. Then you got one one side of your fan going to 30. Then the other side of your fan is gonna be 12 volt constant. Alright? Now you see it say 12 volt constant, but at the end of that, you wanna have your breaker off fuse however you want to call it you want to have that so you have your constant power going to one side of that then the other side of that I'll be going to 87 all right uh, let's see here this right here will be the actual switch power and this will be your trigger all right the trigger gonna be coming from the ECU so you gotta have in order for this relay to work it's got a coil in it and you gotta have positive and the negative so either this trigger is going to be negative or it's going to be a positive either way it go if that's a positive this side got to be a negative if that's a negative or if this is a positive your trigger got to be a negative all right so either way it go in order for that relay to activate it's got to have positive and negative on 86 and 85 all right that's constant hot you have a fuse on one end going to your battery. The hot come out of there, or the one end of your fan, the hot side of your fan, the other side of your fan going to ground. Pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. Alright. Like I said, I got that from American Vote. You can't hardly see it. Yeah. I got that from American Vote. And uh, like I said, it's a 16 inch. I'll let y'all look at it in a few minutes. Alright. Here we go. Get y'all a good look at, at my fan. Like I said, it's a 16 inch. Got it from American Vote. 12 volt, 130 watts. This fan is supposed to put out, hopefully it'll put out enough. But like I said, one of the, this, that blue gonna be your positive, that black gonna be your negative. All right, so that black, we'll tie that black somewhere to the frame. Might tie it down here somewhere, cause I got everything grounded. Yeah, I got grounds. So, I might tie it there. But before I do that, I gotta find uh, my fan, uh, my fan trigger. So I got all these rolled up that came with my with my harness that was not uh, labeled, but there ain't no problem. I just trace it back 
to the ECU. But I'm thinking this green, I'm thinking this green gonna be, this green in my pack gonna be going to 42. I think blue 42, but it's a blue green connector. So I'm find that blue and uh, trace that back and see, make sure it's the same thing. All right. All right, gang. So I got a relay mounted. I got the breaker down there mounted. Uh, I might have to figure out something to put on this. Kind of where nothing be testing this, because this is going to be uh, 12 volts on that. So I'll figure something else out. But for, for this video, man, we're going to mock we gonna mock this up. Because I'm going to have to clean all this up and lay it out the way I want to. And I'm not going to be able to do all that on this video. So. As you see, I got my two trigger wires. These wires here are colored black and brown. So, if I touch the battery, I don't know if y'all can hit it. Let me see if I can. Let y'all hit this real quick. So that is opening and closing the coil. So this long red right here, I'm gonna take the long red over to the blue. Alright, to the blue right here. I'm gonna put a connector on there. I'm gonna tie that black to ground. And I'm gonna do this temporarily. Like I said, I wanna make make all this look good and I don't wanna take up all y'all time. But um, I'm gonna show y'all also, man. If you got HP tuners, I'm gonna show you how to turn this fan on to make sure that it works. All right, all right. So I'm gonna um, get this rigged up, and um, I'll get back with you. Okay, gang. So I got the HP tuners up, and um, I'm gonna go into file. I'm gonna open the file real quick. All right, I'm gonna open. All right, so now we got this up. I'm gonna try to zoom in, zoom in so y'all can see this a little bit. All right. Now, what we wanna go into, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's systems. Yes, systems. All right, so we in systems and you see, let's zoom in, you see fan up there, you see? All right, so we're gonna go to fan. So once we go to fan, it's gonna come up and it's gonna say fan type. So you got two fans. You have auxiliary fan, two fans, no fans, EV fan. Alright. So I just put it on two fans for now. So these are the temperatures. These are the temperatures that you want you want your fan to come on and come off. That's your that's your um that is your the ECT so whatever temperature that is alright so fan one will come on at 195 195 degrees fan two I mean and then it was cut off fan one cut off at 188 and then if you, you go over you got your fan two fan two so I come on a little higher so let's say fan one it comes on 195 and it's not able to cool the truck down or the car down and you have an auxiliary fan fan 2 that second fan will come on at 205 all right so when that this fan will only cut off when it get below 196 degrees right by that time this fan will still be on and it'll try to cool the cool the vehicle down until it get to 180, then it'll cut off and vice versa. All right, so that's how you go into your HP tuners. You go into systems, fan, and then you got to actually activate the vent, actually activate the fan because, like I said, if you got a clutch fan, it'll be on no fan. All right. Also, let me show y'all something else. Like if you go into the scanner. Let's get into the scanner here. Nice. 
see if we can get it on. I hope y'all can see this decent. Well, let me get this up and um, uh, here you go. I don't know if it's gonna let me do it if I'm not connected. Let's see what it do. All right, so in your scanner, all right, come on. All right, so in your scanner, zoom in here. When you connect to the vehicle, matter of fact, let me try to connect to this so I can show y'all. All right, let's see. Let me crank that, turn the key on, make sure everything's on. All right, so I'm gonna go to start vehicle. So we'll go up here, start, you see it initiate, initiating. All right, All right now it's initiating. All right, so we should, it should pop up there. All right, bam, we connect it. All right, now if you go to this button here, which is the vehicle control button. You can click on that button there and it'll bring this up. Alright. So if you look, you should have uh, special functions. I believe it's on the special functions. Uh, that's not see where it's at y'all I know it's a way on here where you can turn your fans on let's go into systems there we go all right so you're gonna go into systems just like you did on the uh, tune all right and you got fans and you can go to fan and you can turn that fan on or off whichever one this is what we're gonna do to see if this thing works all right we're gonna do it like this instead of letting it get to the temperature and all that. I'm gonna crank the truck up and I'm gonna crank the truck up and I'm gonna turn it on through that. Alright, so let's see if we can get this thing crunk. Let's turn it back out. But it's kind of hard for y'all to even hit it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crank it up. I'm just gonna turn the key on. I'm not gonna crank it up. Alright. So now, as y'all see, the fan is off. Now I'm gonna turn it on. But let me uh let me reconnect. Let me reconnect. Let me cut that off. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna go, we're gonna go up here, hit that, we're gonna go to systems, then fan, I'm gonna turn it on, fan one. As y'all can see, she is on, she's putting out pretty good. So that's a way to test your fans, man, to see if it's right. So we know now that the green coming off of pin 42 on the blue connector, that will be the um your ground. That's gonna be that's gonna trigger your ground. Everything else, self-explanatory, man. I'm gonna go back through this, and then I'm gonna end this video, man. Let's turn it off.
the game. So it was pretty easy, man. It was pretty easy. Oh, uh, like I said, man, I got that from uh, American Vote. I got this fan from American Vote. And what what's what what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank this thing up, let it run, and see if it holds the temperature. If it holds the temperature at 190, 200, I'm gonna be happy. If not, then I'll go and put an auxiliary fan on there. I'll do the same setup on the on the in the computer, and I'll turn on fan two for my auxiliary fan. That way, it'll help cool it, cool this motor down. But man, that's how. You do your fans, man. I'm going to go back over this real quick and show y'all one more time. And then we're going to be out of here, man. All right, All right gang. So now y'all seen how everything set up in, in the tune. How I set up for 195. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to crank the truck up. I want to make sure that when the temperature hits 195, that the fan cut on like it should. All right? So we're going to go ahead on and crank this thing up, man. Let's see? So the fans did not come on at 196. All right, so that's there's an issue, right? There's an issue. So let's go into my tune. Let's see. Let me open the tune up and I get back with you. Okay, gang. So, I thumped out some things. I played around with the tune. Alright, so you know I had it on two fans. I had it on two fans first. Right? And the two fans was come on at... The first fan was come on at 195, go off at 188, right? But as y'all seen, it didn't come on when it got to 195. It's got to get past 195. I didn't wait long enough. I know, I think it got to 196, but now... I guess it's just like a couple degrees before it kicks on like it's supposed to but now it's working but I wanted to get y'all the insight on some things like when you click on here and you got auxiliary fan and you got EV fan if you put it on these two settings your fans will automatically come on when you switch when you on um, crack your vehicle up. as soon as you crank the vehicle up, these fans will stay will come on they will stay on until you turn the ignition switch off so Auxiliary fans are EV. Those do not use um, the temperatures. Okay, so if you just want your fan, just come on, like kind of like a kind of like a um, old clutch fan. You know, a clutch fan is on all the time um, it, because it's by the motor. So if you want your fan to be on all the time and just cool, just keep the car cool or whatever, you can do that. Or if you wanted to do like I'm doing with the temperature then you can do that but uh, I'm gonna crank it back up 
I'm gonna show y'all that it is coming on. So let's go back to let's go back to my uh, scanner. Let's see if we can zoom in. All right, so you see the temperature was at 199 while I had it on. Truck been sitting. So let's see. Let's see if we can, can get back in it. All right. So it's still showing 199. So Right now it's one to nine, so when I crank this up, the fan should come on. All right, so I'm gonna crank this up. Y'all hear the fan? game so there you have it man it is working I showed y'all how to do it in the tune you really if you look if you got clutch fans and you want to go with electric fans you got to get this get you got to get it tuned all right so it ain't no getting real around that you gotta get somebody to get in the computer and tune it man all right game all right so man I appreciate y'all man checking in with your ball one more time man just a DIY with the wrist, man. Oh, I got some more stuff coming, man. I've been working on my 2500, man. I got some coming on my boat. For my 2500, man. Let y'all see that thing, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to try to lift that thing, man. We're going to try to see if we can get the front end lifted up high. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. But um, she coming along, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Checking in with your boy one more time. Greg with DIY with the wrist, man. Y'all like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, man. And like I always say, man, my favorite scripture is Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who screened me and you can too. All right, man. I appreciate y'all. We out.